trick he took uh, in the fourth quarter that, that led to the long Prater field goal. I think there's kind of a debate there on, on whether to take the sack and let the clock keep running or to, to throw it away and, and live for another down. Um, what was going through your mind in that moment? And, uh, you know, is that something you'd maybe do differently, uh, given the opportunity to do it again? Yeah, I probably could have thrown it away. I think it would have made the field goal easier. You know, all we have probably get another five yards on the next play and we're in, in better range for him. So, yeah, I definitely wish I would have thrown that one away. Matthew, you know, it's not all on DeAndre, of course, but your reaction after that, that ball slipped out of his hands, seemingly thought you had it. You know, what did you say to him afterwards and, and how, how quickly do you think he'll be able to turn the page? I think he's he'll turn the page, man. Um, there's so many plays in this game that uh, that caused it to go, you know, the way that it went. Um, so um, that's one of them. Um, there's plays we all wish we'd have back. Shoot, I can't turn the ball over in the fourth quarter. There's no question about that. So um, it's on it's on everybody. We're all there to pick them up and uh, and go from there. We gave it away. You know, it was things that we did individually that we didn't capitalize on. The third, the third and one, I didn't capitalize on. You know, my first big run, you know, if I press the safety and cross his face to the right, it's seven points instead of a sub for a field goal. You know, and it's a different game when, you know, the ball get batted and they get the interception and go in and score. It's a tie ball game, you know. So it's little things like that that we have to be critical about that kind of get forgotten. And you only forget, you only remember what happened towards the end of the game, you know. And defensively, there's things that they can clean up and they're going to clean up as well. You know, so, um, you know, that's, that's really what it's all about, you know, and that's the energy that I felt because guys are able to, they know, you know, we're into the game. We see different opportunities that were, that were missed on offense, special teams, and defense. And uh, so it, it was positive vibes. Um, Swift, you know, of course, he was over in his locker. You know, guys were talking to him, telling him to keep his head up. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's pretty upset right now. And, you know, I'm glad that he is. You know, because now he's going to read. It's all about how he's going to respond to it. You know, realize what you can do better and move forward. We got a long season ahead. Appreciate that. The other thing I wanted to ask you about was just your day. How did you feel up there? I mean, you've been here a week, you know, got quite a bit of work and, and ran, you know, had a nice day rushing. How did you feel uh, in the offense and just to be out there? Um, I felt good in the offense. Um, you know, just getting out there with some live action against an incredible defense. You know, let's not take anything away from those guys. And I felt like the offensive line did a great job of job up front of protecting Stafford um, and opening up some lanes for us as a running back group. You know, personally, I feel like there's some things that I left on the field. And, uh, you know, that all comes with me, me watching and being critical on myself and seeing how I can how I can be better. You know, like I kind of explained earlier, you know, I, I cut to the right at seven points instead of, you know, instead of three. It's a totally different game. You know, so... Um, there's some things that I need to clean up, clean up and we need to clean up as offense and just keep this thing rolling because we, we definitely have the, you know, the ability to be very special. Hey, Danny, this game seemed eerily similar to last year's loss in Arizona. Can you just kind of comment on the disappointment of it and also reflect on perhaps how it got away when you guys had such a large lead and, and you had been through this before? We tied that game in Arizona, uh, but... Yeah, it feels similar to that. You know, we got, had, you know, we were up trying to make plays, trying to run some clock out, uh, move the chains, and um, play good football. Um, you know, it goes to show how close every game here in the NFL is, and, and one mistake here, one mistake there is uh, is costly, and we just got to buckle down, uh, play consistent. It was a close game. We feel like, you know, we can obviously do some things better. It was good to get out there. It was good to run around. Uh, get tackled for the first time in seven months. So, uh, you know, we're all we're all eager to get out there again. We all have a, a burning desire to get to work this week already, and uh, we're gonna keep our head down, keep pushing, keep fighting, and um, what was, try, to, um, try to have a little different outcome next week. How much the injuries you guys suffered in the secondary, especially at corner, even with Okuda being out before the game, how much did that affect y'all in the fourth quarter? It didn't. You know, at the end of the day, it's next man up. It's the National Football League. Uh, they were dealing with injuries. We were dealing with injuries. Um, that's what happened. I mean, everybody has a job. There's no let. There's no let down when you know somebody gets hurt. We expect to to continue to perform at a high level, and we didn't do that before. Um, yeah. I was just curious if there's been a lot of talk about dagger time on offense. I'm wondering how much of that mentality kind of filters over to the defense and for you guys to you know get the stops when you guys have a, a large lead. How how much is that something you guys have talked about, and how disappointing is it that? 
they really came back on you today? It's extremely disappointing. You know, obviously being up 20 to 26. Um, but at the end of the day, like, it comes down. We just didn't finish. Um, we got to finish. We talk about being a good football team. Um, and if you don't finish, it doesn't matter. I mean, injuries, none of that matters. Scheme, none of that, none of that matters. I mean, at the end of the day, we got to finish. We got to go out there. We got to play good defense. And we got to give the, the offense the ball back. And we didn't do that. But we will be better because I believe in the team. I believe in the coaching staff. I believe in what we do. Um, I believe in the process that we take. Obviously, it ended the way that we wanted to. But we know what we need to do to fix it, and we will fix it. What did you guys do well in that first half? It seemed like you, you had them kind of in, in the box where you wanted them to be in the first couple of quarters. Um, the one thing I think we did well was in the red zone. Uh, obviously, they, they had just came away with six points. So. Uh, that red zone defense and, um, you know, obviously uh, getting off the field on third down, it was uh, it was pretty good. And uh, so uh, they were better, we should have did a better job stopping the run, definitely. Okay, hey, Trey, we all know in this league, if, if you let this loss linger, you lose twice. Um, you, you're a captain now. How do you get this locker room to, to move forward and, and move past this one and, and make sure they focus on the next opponent? How long can this one stay with you before you got to shift gears? No shift gears immediately uh, as far as mentally. Uh, you got to tell yourself throughout this week that you don't want to want this feeling ever again. So uh, with that comes great focus and fundamentals, great focus and all the little things, the details, everything matters. So, uh, you know, in, in order for us to, you know, not let this linger. You have to put that towards the motivation as far as focus, as far as, you know, filling the tank back up, prepare more, uh, take it up another notch. So um, as far as the attitude and the mindset, you have to have that mindset in every little thing you do when it comes to focusing on the fundamentals and focusing on all the details. That's the mental part as far as winning, but when it comes to just playing the game and coming to the game, it becomes a habit when you detail and your fundamentals are on point and uh, you go out there and just play. So.